Ja, ich komme aus Eritrea und ich bin von Eritrea äh, geflüchtet natürlich. Erstmal nach Äthiopien und von Äthiopien nach Sudan, von Sudan nach Libyen, von Libyen nach Italien, über das Mittelmeer und von Italien nach Deutschland. Alles illegal. <lacht> ich war 13, so am Anfang 14 und ich bin einfach geflüchtet, weil es da immer Jugendliche da gesucht werden, um Militär zu werden. Mhm. Wenn die ein bisschen gewachsen sind, dann müssen die Militär werden. Und die Schule ist auch ähm, scheiße, weil die Lehrer auch nicht bezahlt werden. Die werden auch ganz schlecht bezahlt und deswegen können die auch nicht richtig gut unterrichten. Mhm. So habe ich ihn kennengelernt. Ah ja, okay, Vor verstehe. fast vier Jahren, na dreieinhalb ja. Jahren, genau. Mhm. Und dann hat er sie komplett wachsen lassen und vor einem Jahr, Ende Januar, haben wir die Dreads dann gemacht. Und da waren seine Haare so lang, oh. aber gelockt, ey, das war auch so Süß. geil, gell? Deine Haare? Oh, aber Gott. nachdem ich Dreads gemacht habe, sind sie so kurz geworden. Ja, ja. stimmt. Oh. Aber magst du lange Haare? Ja. 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 Ich hatte auch kurze Haare vor dreieinhalb Jahren, weil ich in Libyen war und da ist so schmutzig. Ah, Deswegen ja, musste ich meine Haare schneiden. Ah, Aber ich habe es nicht gesehen, weil es kein Krieg gab. <lacht> okay, cool. <lacht> I'm an African filmmaker living in German for some few months. Since I'm here, I would like to see how my fellow people are also living. And that over there is a refugee camp, and filming is not allowed. Perfect. So now, now we can go faster because they see us. Perfect. We got it. Okay, now go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys who are living in that refugee camp have agreed to meet us at a distance from the camp. Chokes. I came from Nigeria. Yeah, um, you know the story about African migrants and stuff like that. They are being victimized and stuff like that. So I thought maybe Germany is going to be a safe haven for us. I left Nigeria February, February 2017. I went through the Sahara Desert to Libya and you all know how Libya is. Nobody is safe there. So we took the Lapa Lapa and we came to Italy. But when I get when we got to Italy, one or two things led to me leaving Italy because that place too is not safe. I, was, I didn't even seek asylum there. I just came down to um, Germany. And I thought that maybe the migration um, project is going to sort in our suffering and things like that but i guess i'm mistaken we've been trying to see if we can live a better life here try to integrate to the society and maybe get one or two integrated on calls so that we'll be able to interact with the german citizen and stuff like that but things have not been easy down there in the camp security people will come and harass you tell you that this is not your country and you are going to abide to one or two or do, do. but I think the whole system is being politicized if I should say that at the end of the day their, their sole aim is to make us suffer at the end of the day if you tire you leave the country, you leave the place but I feel that as we are coming to this place we expected this is a civilized country at least they should do things in a civilized way 
We have a lot of limitation there. You cannot, you cannot, um, they, they, according to what they say, you cannot cook in the camp because of they have canteen and stuff like that. Even if the food is not, some of some of the food are, you are, where we are allergic to some of the food, you, you just have to eat it. Sometimes, these security men don't allow us to sleep in peace. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, they will be parading along the passageway. You understand? I don't know what they are securing. We are not prisoners. By morning, they have done whatever they want to do. At least when it's late in the night, you go, everybody go and sleep. Nobody is walking around, no, nobody is trying to steal anything there. But you have security operatives walking out from your window, they will be pacing around, they will, they will be, it's like they are trying to make you be afraid or stuff like that. The, the, in short, the whole case is, is, is really, really crazy. It's really crazy. We, we virtually sleep with one eye closed and one eye open. friend or your brother is still in the camp for one year, six, seven months, then you say you are coming. I told you the truth, don't come. The journey is not funny now. Not as you think. Or if you are coming, I said the truth again. If you are coming, don't come to the city I am. Good, because other cities are not like this. So I tell them the truth, don't come, don't come. You know, there are some people you tell the truth that don't come, they will still like to come. They should stop lying to the outside world that this is what they are doing and they are doing the otherwise. They are doing directly the opposite. A lot of people are suffering in this ACO camp. A lot of people. There are a lot of people that are, that, 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 have, that, that are facing malnutrition. A lot of people are facing brain drain. A lot of people are going nuts day by day. You understand? So, at the end of the day, please, I want them to do things the right way. So that at the end of the day, everybody will have a better story to tell. Ciao. Um, I started my job in that kids' home. And he was, he was in that group I, I work with. So I work in a kids' home with eight um, youth, young refugees without parents, for sure. He was my first um, child I'm responsible for. Yeah, ganz okay. Also, ich habe mich nicht so vorgestellt, dass in das Land so ist. So nicht ganz, schon natürlich ganz anders. Aber ich finde das Okay, weil hier gibt es Frieden und kann man regelmäßig in die Schule gehen, kann man, man sich aussuchen, was man machen will, welche Arbeit, äh, Ausbildung. Das stimmt schon, das was du sagst. Es gibt schon viele Leute, die sich vorstellen, wenn die hier kommen, auf einmal beim, viel Geld bekommen irgendwie, sofort mit der Arbeit anfangen. Ja, genau. Und dann ist es ganz anders, ja, aber wir müssen die irgendwie dort Kurs suchen. Deutsch lernen und alles selber machen, wenn die über 18 sind. Mhm. Und mhm. ja, dann ist ganz anders. Als man in sich auch ja. Ja. Meine Wünsche sind, dass ich irgendwann auch mein Land legen kann und meine Familie sehen kann. Und auch, dass ich hier eine Arbeit habe, eine Ausbildung anfange und eine feste Arbeit habe. Dann reicht es. Mhm.